Hello everybody, this is Walk It Out, 1963, our cat. Um, I do a lot of polymer clay. That's where I got my start at, is mostly polymer clay. And these are just a little sample of my canes that I've done. This is a, this, actually my, one of my students made this one for me. I taught her how to make a cane. That was one of my classes. And if you cut it, it's the same in the middle as it is in the front and the back. And this is one of my canes using a Skinner blend. I'm sorry, it's got other little pieces to it. This is a Skinner blend flower. Skinner blends is where you take and you blend different clays together. This is my yin and yang, the flower just bit the dust. This is a yin and yang cane that I made. And um, I had sent a um, a keychain to Sugar Bomb Babe, Baby, and she was wanting to know about the swirl. Well, this is how the cane starts off, and then when I take it down a little bit, this is how it ends up, and this actually glows in the dark. So your keychain glows in the dark, hun. And this is a purple one that I've taken down. And this is a leaf using the Skinner blend again. And this is another leaf. I hope you can see these. I mean, I don't have a camera, so I gotta use my cell phone. And this is another. This is another leaf. And it this the the leaves when they come out to a point like this, they get really fragile if you're not careful. And this is just something I played with. This is a purple rose. This is another leaf. This is another leaf. Okay, I already... And this is this uh, collage of purple and red roses. And this one here is using the Skinner Blend and um, Puzzling. It's a flower. And all these is this patchwork. patchwork. These are not easy to make. I'm trying to look through the camera and see what I'm doing. This is another patchwork. I don't know if you, my camera will focus, but you see all the little basket weaving? This one starts off as, let me see, as this. It's called a basket weave. And then you get a whole bunch of them, put them together, and you put them together and they come out like that. Okay, and here's a bigger cane of the swirl that you've seen over there. And there's another leaf. And this one here I put into um, little findings. This one here I always thought was pretty. That's a bunch of Skinner Brins um, squirrels. This is a silver Skinner blend. Here, I'm trying to go fast. And this is my purple leopard. And this is when it's done the white part turns translucent and it shows this beautiful red and black marbling it's like a stone and then what my chihuahuas hey both of you I'm sorry my chihuahuas are chewing on something but this turns into the same thing as the red rock does and this is my dragonfly wings are my angel wings and they're very very translucent and very pretty and you can take it and you can stretch this out once you cut it just slowly roll it dust the um, board with a little bit of talcum powder and your roller with a little bit of talcum powder and press lightly and roll it out and you can get that to come out about about two inches two and a half and it makes a really pretty um fairy wing and this is a translucent flower i don't know if you can see the flower in there but this is a translucent flower you have to kind of like warm this up in your hand i always stick it up underneath my armpit and this is my distorted hearts and ah come here this is my loaf of bread yay bread and this is my wheat bread. Yay wheat, it's healthy. And 
this is another cane using the clay, cane um, the clay distractor and this is using the K distractor where you uh, I'll show you what I mean by when you cut how everything let me scoot all this over when you cut it how everything should look the same through and through but the colors will change in this one because this cane has like three or four different colors to it let me see if I'll cut it straight hey that's pretty good since I didn't actually look at the cane piece to cut it but you see it all looks the same no distortion and everything but this this here's a Skinner blend this is a tie-dye and this one's a tie-dye they're called window frames um, glass glass window frames is what those are called but this is just some of my canes that I have made and stuff and I have some that I have collected from other people it takes a it takes quite a long time to make a cane like this like this in I love this one. I love how the colors transaction. And these takes a long time where this one it doesn't take so long and these doesn't take long. But you can do all kinds of things with clay. A friend of mine, he made this for me in class. It says joy and every slice you see says joy. And the smaller you take it, you can't see it. it says joy. No matter how small you take this cane, it's going to say joy. But these are just some of my things. And if you've got some canes, I know a lot of you have some raw canes that you've been getting in the mail. And they're the small canes. Let me see. I think I got one. Here you go. You've got small canes like this. Let's see. This one here is actually this one shrunk down to this but these little canes if you want to keep them fresh and pliable this cane here is about mm, two years old I made this about two years ago and you see how flexible that is a good cane should be flexible if it's a fresh cane and uncooked what you need to do all that saran wrapping that you see here, as you can tell, it has bits of cut out cane on top. That way, when I wrap up my cane and stuff, it'll stay fresh and pliable and it keeps it from cracking and drying out. And you can keep it for years and, and use it over and over. You might have to, the hardest ones to keep for years is the translucent ones here because they tend to dry out and get harder faster but all you have to do is stick it up underneath your armpit for a while and you're good to go if you can have somebody stick it up underneath their armpit and walk around for about 15 20 minutes to heat it up it's good to go but and this is a real pretty cane it's got ooh shiny object oh sorry ADD here but um this is this is another cane that's really pretty. It's yellow, and I use the um, the yellow inflections, the um, yellow glitter clay wrapped in black. And this is where you roll it out, and this part here you would take and use for scraps. But don't throw away your scraps. You can always use them, and sometimes they make a very interesting cane. But this is what I basically do is I make canes and I make beads special beads or else I make bottles of hope and I wrap um, clay canes around objects to make them look pretty and stuff oh and a little bit of the resin thing the um, the baby bottle tip I pulled out this is what it turned out to be isn't that so cool I love it and what I'm going to do is make a base for it and then put an uh, eye pin in there. And then I'm going to use it for a baby shower for a friend who's expecting. But this is my work area. 
Yankum Inns was talking about how messy her work area was. Uh, yeah, she has no idea about a messy work area. When I said you can come and clean mine up, I am not joking. You are more than welcome to come and clean up my area if you want. I got paint. I got my mold maker. I got candy wrappers that I've made my husband save. I got paint. I got tools. I got clay. I got beads over here. I've got, oh my God. I got, ooh, Farmville. Um, <laughs> I got all my paper, a bag, a dead tarantula don't ask he was on my doorstep but he he died in the middle of the night and that's what i came into but he'd be okay i got my sewing machine i got my friend in the chair see i got my other canes and stuff i'm not even going to show you the chihuahuas in the background but yeah but if you want to know how to make more canes sorry about the finger if you want to know um how to make more of these canes like this please ask me and I can help you out as much as I can over the over the internet but it's easier to be shown than to tell so you have a blessed day <laughs> bye remember like subscribe and comment bye and have a good day